In this video, I'm going to talk about measures of mortality and dealing with finding data for part three. All right, so part three involves um, counts about death and counts about population, and some of this by age in order to allow you to do some of the basic measures of mortality, which are on pages, uh, I believe, 16 through 19 of, excuse me, of this. All right, there we go. Death rate, crude death rate, works just like crude birth rate, deaths over population times a constant. Age-specific death rate, works just like age-specific fertility rate, De uh, deaths due to deaths in an age category, population in an age category. There's some charts to let you kind of understand what these look like when you measure them. Cause-specific, you know how many deaths from a specific disease. We're not doing that, but um, infant mortality rate is a little different because it's not the population age 0 to 1. It's how many live births took place that year. Um, maternal mortality ratio. Uh, we're not getting into life expectancy and life tables in this assignment, uh, but we will talk about them in class. All right, so the data for this means, uh, let's see here. Same country as you did for fertility, if at all possible. Same five points in time, if at all possible. International database. Um, I think you can get all of this. Uh, not quite. There's one thing that I don't think you're going to be able to get from the international database. Uh, but it, And it's going to be a little tricky, and I'm going to expect you to try to work through it, um, given the clues that I'll give you here. All right. So total deaths, total population. Let's pop over to the international database and see what we can find. So five points in time. I'm not actually going to mark five points in time. I'm just going to pick two to speed this up a little bit. But you know what, what I'm looking for. Sweden. And in this case, we want um, we, we can get total deaths. We already have that. If you'll remember from here, we have deaths and population. So we can handle crude death rates or crude mortality rates, which they're both, they mean the same thing, um, just with this data from the demographic indicators. In addition to that, I want you to find the population in some different age groups. So um, uh, 0 to 1, 1 to 4, and then 5-year age groups after that. Uh, although 0 to 1, like I've said, when we do infant mortality, we actually do live births. But we know our live births, so that's that's great. And then we want to have deaths for each age group. Um, that one is a little bit trickier because it we can get them all in the UN population prospects except for the deaths in the two separate uh, childhood age groups. So here we go. It's, we've got mortality, um, number of deaths by age and sex. So if I just do that, and while I know this seems like didn't I just get deaths over at the international database? We did, but we didn't have them available to us by age and sex, which we do here. I'm just going to pick, I'm picking one point in time, 2015, 2020. Just like with births, these cover, cover five-year spans. If we're using a single point in time, 2015, 2020, then we're going to need to um, divide these by five. I'm getting, I don't care about uh, doing this by sex right now, so we're just doing both. And all of these age groups, and because they don't have an option here really, it's just 0 to 4, you know, and so on. I won't have that 0 to 1 and 1 to 4 quite yet, but I will have the rest of these. So I do know, and here's the thing that just bugs me to no end about this. This is rounded, obviously, and it's in thousands. We know people died in these age categories. It's just it was fewer than a thousand, so they're not counting them uh, for our purposes. That does make it a little bit less accurate, um, in my opinion, but it's all we've got. So I'm exporting this to Excel, opening that up, and I would do the exact same thing here I did before with the other data that we've looked at where I clear out all the stuff I don't need um, so that I just have this. So now I'm looking at the situation where I'm still trying to figure out how many deaths at 0 to 1. Um, if I have how many deaths at 0 to 1, I can subtract it from this. Of course, it's not going to help much when you've got a small country like this and it just says 1. So in order to get at death 0 to 1, I need infant mortality. And so I need to look and see if I can find 
infant mortality. And while I can't find infant mortality number of deaths, uh, this 5QO, just so you know, is it's um, five-year age groups. That's a just a code for what that means. The death zero to five in a five-year age group, um, which kind of tells you there. I'm going to go here. This is going to be a rate, which means it's not exactly the same. But if I know how to calculate infant mortality, and I have live births, and I have the infant mortality rate, then I can calculate the number of actual deaths that took place. So I know that seems complex, and we will go over this in class one more time before all is said and done, um, and work that out. So this is 2,000, um, actually infant mortality rate, it's 2 per 1,000 live births. So if I know how many live births I had, let's just pop back to here. And that was 2015 was I was looking at there. So we had 118,000 births. So um, there are, if there are 2,000 deaths per 118,000 live births, and the formula for infant mortality, this is our infant mortality rate, equals deaths over births. Just do the algebra on that. So instead, um, and this has been multiplied by a thousand, so uh, it, it just, uh, uh, the, I don't want to walk you through every single step of it. Uh, you can check the, the video on mortality rates for that, but here it is. Here's the formula. Deaths, live births. We have live births. We have this number, which is two. Two deaths per thousand live births. Do the algebra and you're going to get your count, your number of deaths, zero to one. Uh, and then you subtract that from your number of deaths, zero to four, and it'll be a lot easier to kind of work that out at that point. This is going to drop that down to 0.5, basically. A little bit less than 0.5, which means uh, uh, 500 as opposed to, because this is in thousands. I recognize that this was probably a little bit complicated for you because I'm asking you to find deaths for that age group and even though that's not readily available there is another way to do it if you don't want to do it the math way come here and see if you can do this Sweden infant death count 2015 um, this is taking me to the World Bank uh, it's giving me a rate, not an actual count, which is, you know, kind of where I was at before. But just for the heck of it, I'm going to check real fast and see if I can drill down. Because you never know, you might be able to. No, I really can't. But hey, it's two, at least it matches. Um, and I would just, can, you can continue to do that. If you search long enough, you're eventually going to find your way to the actual count of births without having to do the math yourself. But for the most part, this information is presented. Oh, oh this is a good article. I, I, it's not what I need to be spending my time on. Anyway, I'm not going to spend any more time showing you how to do that. But if you prefer to search rather than do the math, go right ahead. All right, so getting us back to where we need to be, We've found our we've um, we found our total deaths. We found our total population. We found our population by age groups. Um, we found our we need our births for that one year point in time. You know, so that's up here. This is my 112 or whatever year I'm using. Um, and then I'm going to ask you also to look up the infant mortality rate and life expectancy for five different countries. And this is just. This is just something to be in. This is like more understanding. And that's all available here in the um, mortality indicators by sex. You so pick five points in time, or I mean five countries, mortality indicators by, by sex. And then life expectancy is also going to be here in this mortality indicators. So you're going to be asked to do some things with that data in the assignment, um, primarily calculating the crude death rate, deaths over total population, five points in time age specific using all that stuff we just had infant mortality well you kind of have the infant mortality rate and you're and if you do this method of 
backwards calculating to get your births, you'd accomplish the same thing as calculating infant mortality. As long as that's clearly labeled on your spreadsheet, you've done that. Create a table with the five countries that show the infant mortality rate. Again, that's something you can get here with mortality indicators by sex. I'm just going to pick two countries, one year in time. You'll see it makes just you know a nice little, uh, here's infant mortality rate uh, if we wanted that over five years. So we see in Sweden, 2015, 2.6. Um, and in Tanzania, 42.4. It's the purpose of that is to let you make some comparisons. Uh, other things that this assignment's asking you to do is um, we've already had you find life expectancy, uh, create a table showing life expectancy, and then I want you to describe any changes. And then I want you to think about this question. You may or may not be able to puzzle that one out, but I really want you to try to figure that out. And that is um, collecting data and understanding mortality measures.